What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, this is Russell Westbrook with TarverAcademy.com, and I want to show you the settings. I'm just going to go walk you through all of your settings, which are important to review before you ever create a form and send it out anywhere. Okay, so I've just got like a three question form here. I've got it to where it auto grades, and that's life. Okay, so up here you've got your kind of your panel for things that you can do to edit this. All right, so first you got add ons. If you've got any add ons, Doc Appender is a good one to have. Um, this is just like changing the colors of the top part of your page, or you can change it to a photo. Preview means it's going to take you to what your um, form looks like live. And then you've got your settings. So click on settings. All right, so sign in. Um, this makes people sign in. So they're going to have to sign in with their Google account, and it limits to one response. Um, now, if they don't have a Google account, well, one, they're not very smart because you should have a Google account. That's they're just winning everything, and they should you should have one. Um, this also, if I was in my school account, it would have a box where it says limit to, you know, blank, blank, blank employees, like wherever you go, employees. So if you're giving um, a test to your students or a form for your staff to fill out, you need to have that checked. That way, it just it regulates who's actually in there instead of some rando from outside of the district. So, anyways, um, you can limit to one response. That means they can't, you know, submit it again without signing into a different account. Um, you can allow them to edit it after they submit it. So, if they submit it and they come back and they can change certain things in their form, if they, um, you know, if they have that selected, and then see summary charts and text responses. That's for the the audience. Like um, after they get finished, they'll be able to see all of these summary charts and text response. Not for you. It's going to do yours automatically. So be careful. If it's like a test or something, or if people giving their opinion, you don't want that because then everybody's going to be able to see it. Okay. Under presentation, um, progress bar is only really applicable if you have multiple sections. Then you do want to show a progress bar. You want people to know kind of how long they're investing into this thing you've created. Shuffle question order. Um, that used to be a problem whenever you could not insert photos into your questions because you'd have to put the photo above it and then the options to the correct answer beneath it. Well, if you selected this, then it would shuffle all those pictures and so it would be like, refer to the photo above, but the photo wasn't there because it just like moved around. And this is the response that said, like this is what it says after they finish. You say, great job. you so smart. Okay. Um, we don't want to do that. Um, and now, this is not highlight. I can't select that. That's because I've limited to one response. If I take that off, boom, I can do, uh, you know, show a link to do it again. So, like if you're doing like a, a teacher's fair and you want teachers to sign in, you're going to want that because then you can just click the link and it'll bring it right back around to your original form. And then quizzes, this is how you turn it off and turn it on. This is how you make things a quiz. You take this off, take that on or that's on, that's off. Turn the quiz on, and then boom, you're good to go. Release the grade, you can tell them the grade immediately, you don't have to, show them the missed questions, correct answers, etc. And you hit save, and those are the settings. Okay, over here, this is just where you would get like a link, you could send an email, or this recent email, but you could do all this stuff. So, then I'm good with it, that's settings, the end, toodles, bye-bye, subscribe. <laughs>